Paige got her homecoming last month. Caitlin got hers this past weekend. And now it is Angel Reese's turn. Let's talk about it. Playing the game in Baltimore, is this something that came up when you were being recruited? Is it something that you said, hey, this is something that you kind of said, hey, this would be nice? You know, how, how did it come about it, to your recollection? No, I don't think we really talked about it that much. Um, of course, I wanted to play closer to home because uh, me going to Maryland was a reason because my grandparents um, being able to have them around and they don't really fly much. So being able to go back home and playing in front of them is going to be something that's going to be important to me and really fun for me. And a lot of people that have supported me in my career, I think that's just important. And especially as a senior, I mean, whatever decision I do make at the end of the year, being able to do this is going to be something that I will always remember. What is up, awesome people of the internet? Reigning national champion and talk of the town, Angel Reese is returning home this week to play in her hometown of Baltimore as LSU plays Coppin State this upcoming Wednesday. Besides your grandparents, you mentioned, there is there someone or some people that you look forward to playing in front of for the, maybe the first time in a while? Um, my high school coaches, um, for sure. Um, my high school, some of the girls that I play with in high school, just the community, being able to go back. I think I'll be able to go back um, and show some of my teammates the court that was named after me as well. So going into a community where it, it was hard in Baltimore and just understanding what I came from and being able to be in that community and giving back to them and we did it for them. I mean, you gotta, we got to realize LSU is coming to, to Baltimore and realizing what, what the importance is. Angel Reese had a relatively slow start for the season, including four missed games so far. Uh, and this is for a reason that we still don't quite have clarity on. Uh, but even with the slow start and all, she is having a great season so far, averaging 19.1 points a game in 53% uh, shooting from the field, as well as grabbing 10.5 rebounds a game. She's a leader for this LSU squad, and she is a media darling for the Tigers, though maybe Kim Mokey might rival her um, in terms of uh, media publicity and, 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 and um, recognition. Uh, but uh, before Angel Reese was ever a Tiger, she was a Panther. Angel Reese attended St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, where she led the Panthers to three consecutive Interscholastic Athletic Association of Maryland championships. She also uh, got the team to two conference titles. She was a McDonald's All-American, two-time Baltimore Sun Player of the Year, and number two recruit in the nation in 2020. Originally, she chose to go to Maryland, which wasn't that far from her family. And it was also where her brother Julian decided to go and play for the Terps. So Angel Reese was a Panther. She was a Terp. And after two seasons at Maryland, she became a Tiger when she transferred to LSU. On her decision to transfer, Angel said, I choose LSU and Kim Mokey because of the winning culture. I trust in Coach Kim and her staff to, to help develop me into the player I need to be for the next level. Her resume speaks for itself, and I want to continue that here at LSU. The relationships I've built here, especially with the team, are so special, and we are ready to work. And as history tells us, Angel made an immediate impact on LSU last season, including uh, leading her team to their first national championship in program history. She was a uh, unanimous first team All-American. She was the SEC player of the year, final four most outstanding player. And she also set the NCAA single season record for double doubles with 34 and the SEC single season record for rebounds with 555. And this year, while we don't know if this is Angel Reese's uh, last year in college or not, whether she's going to the draft or not, um, she does get a chance to take advantage of something that Caitlin Clark, Paige Beckers, and others have done in the past. Play in front of your hometown before graduating. Uh, Angel Reese is super excited to play in front of her family, friends, and fans at, in Baltimore. Um, and also, she is looking forward to introducing her teammates to Baltimore cuisine. Is your mother gonna help plan the pregame meal uh, <laughs> or, or cater it? I just wanted to, what, what do you hope that, that your teammates will get the example? Um, no, actually, we're gonna probably cater this place that um, 
I've always grew up on in Baltimore called a new uh, Taste This, and they have like good soul food. And I, I told them um, they said they're gonna cater for us and bring food for us, and they're gonna get some good uh, food. So we're gonna do that. So on to the game itself. LSU plays Coppin State in a game that is almost guaranteed to be a blowout. Coppin State is three and nine on the season, losing a bunch of games to teams including Kent State, George Mason, Pitt, and Syracuse. But even with the tough matchup ahead, the school has sold out their gym um, and they are looking forward to the game. I ask you, how, how welcoming was Coppin State to come bring in the defending national champions? Was that a difficult I, I didn't speak to them. I have read one article from a reputable newspaper that this coach talked about how excited, and this has been a year or so ago, maybe not a year, but after we scheduled it, it was an article that somebody said, this is a good article. They're really trying to sell it out. And I, it may already be sold out. It is sold out. And, um, I read the article and I, I just appreciated how much they appreciated us coming there to play. I understand it may be a pink game for them, so um, we'll try to wear, we'll probably wear white if it's a pink game. Coppin State's head coach said, this is an opportunity to continue growing the game of women's basketball and more importantly, showcasing our program. We're happy to have this game. This game is special. I don't know who the fans will be cheering for, LSU or Coppin State, but I am not concerned. My young ladies are excited about the opportunity to go against LSU, and we're going to have fun with it. And while we all know that smaller programs get a substantial financial boost from playing Power 5 schools, um, and these, these scheduled blowouts are, are sort of a necessary uh, evil, basically, to keep these teams afloat financially, uh, but this game tomorrow is not like your normal game because Coppin State is set to get their, likely their biggest payday ever. Again, Coach Wood said, I appreciate Coach Kim Mulkey for keeping it so we can help our budget. This is our third consecutive year in a row of having a high major team come in here and play. But this is the first time that we've had the reigning national champions we can keep 100% of ticket sales and everything is ours. Great for, grateful for Coach Moki. it's a big deal. And yeah, this is a big deal. This is their payday because yes, they get those ticket sales and they also get all of the parking sales as well. They get all the concessions. Their players get national spotlight at least for one game. And most likely uh, they are gonna be able to use this as a huge marketing opportunity to promote the school locally. So this is a great opportunity for Coppin State, even with the blowout that they're about to take. I get that this is just like another one of those cupcake games uh, for LSU, but I think that all around, this is a huge W for everybody. Angel gets to play in front of her home crowd and dominate. Uh, Coppin State gets an opportunity to get the necessary financial benefits to continue their program going forward. And also LSU gets another game on the books. As you all know, I really, really love good stories, feel good stories. And to me, this game is just good vibes all around. And I love it. There's to me, yes, it's an easy game, but it's it's likely that 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 uh, LSU was going to play some e play uh, play an easy game anyway. But it's awesome that Kim Moki, um, Coach Woods at Coppin State was all was able to get together and make this thing work, make this game work, and give Angel Reese a awesome send off at um, at her hometown, basically. From the standpoint, this is potentially Angel's last year here. That just you wanted to make this happen. It was going to have to have maybe be this year. Didn't think about it along the lines of it being her last year. Look, when Angel committed to coming here, I, she told me I'm only staying two years. And, you know, the COVID deal was never really the third year, but, you know, NIL changes a lot of things. Winning a national championship changes a lot of things. Um, I don't discuss that with Angel. There's a time and a place to discuss any of that. The main thing I would discuss with Angel right now is get your degree. Get your degree and then you have lots of options.
Uh, again, we don't know if this is going to be her last season uh, with the, the Tigers, but I just think it's great that she she's going to have this opportunity. And then later on, she can decide what, what, what she wants to do, whether she stays in college or whether she leaves to go to the WNBA. I personally hope that she stays in college, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, this was a great this is a great game to be scheduled, and um, I'm interested to see how many points uh, Angel Reese scores. Uh, if y'all have predictions on how many points she's going to score, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you all want to watch the game, it will be available on ESPN Plus at 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, do you have any thoughts about Angel Reese's homecoming? Let me know in the chat. Um, also, uh, share your score predictions for this game. Um, if you want to know my predictions, I think. I don't know what the total, like the the final score will be, but I think the LSU will win by at least 70. Uh, but let me know what you all think in the chat. As always, I thank you so much for watching this, this video. Um, I hope that you all have an amazing day. Be sure to like the video if you liked it and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, so far. And until next time, guys, bye.